and welcome to another extremely exciting Wild Wooly adventure of Weekly Entertainment. We'd like to welcome everyone back to the show. Uh, we're here with, uh, with Crazy Mark, and I'd like to welcome our entire new viewing audience. I mean, how exciting is this? I mean, I, I, I've been waiting for the day when I can announce this, but now our show is spread all the way from Port Huron all the way down to Rockwood and Flat Rock and and almost to the Ohio border. So this is huge news for Weekly Entertainment. And just feel free to send us an email, check out the website to all of our new viewers, and get ready for a whole bunch of exciting stuff and madcap mayhem and broadcast journalism. Well, here it is, uh, the beginning of summer, uh, if you're watching this on reruns, then, uh, you know, the, the summer blockbuster movie uh, movie season is in full swing and i think we have somebody here don't we uh, they yeah have sparkles hey, hey what's up there my, How's my it going? popular request <laughs> it's sparkles the clown ladies yeah and hey there folks favorite guests well sparkles yeah why don't you tell us about uh have, tell us about some of the new movies coming out i i, I, and I oh yeah, yeah lots of movies yeah we're looking forward to godzilla of course God, yeah, yeah that's gonna be exciting godzilla yeah godzilla check that one out yeah Oh, and we've had other movies there. We've got more superhero. What's Captain this America? about a winter warrior, huh? Oh, Come on. Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Soldier, whatever. I've had enough of winter. Next. Now, the one we actually have seen yeah. is Noah. Oh, oh, yeah. That was a very truthful film from start to finish. Wait, yeah. wait. Sparkles, sparkles. Hang on yeah. a second. Um, how what? can you say that that movie was, was truthful? I mean, Noah, I mean, for the, this is a spoiler. Yeah. But Noah actually had giant rock monsters. Yeah, to rock monsters. To, to help him build the ark. That's so, true. Sparkles, now, what's, yes. What's your opinion on taking uh, that kind of artistic license with with such a beloved, you know, a beloved Well, they tale. didn't go far enough. Come on, They didn't here, go Rudy. far enough. Think How? about it, this Rudy. All they did was stand around, okay? Just like... Those trees in The Hobbit had more action. Come on, you know? Well, there, there was the big battle at the end where they tried to overrun Noah and the Ark. And the, the no, 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 no. All they did was stand around, more so than those trees in The Hobbit. See, those giants, they could have had a big smorgasbord. <laughs> now, now how, how would you have changed the story of Noah? Well, of course, everything stays the same because more or less it's all the truth. Well, we have a great show planned for you today. We have you do? some, uh, yeah. We actually have, uh, I, you know, this is another thing that I'm really excited about. We finally have a blooper reel we're going to show, Whoa. so we're all looking forward to that. And uh -oh. uh, so, get the kids in the room. Hey, kids! Make yourself a, a big bucket of buttered popcorn and uh, fasten your seatbelt and get ready for more Madcap Mayhem and broadcast journalism right here on Weekly Entertainment. Entertainment. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> I think my purse is upstairs on the bed. It's not here. Check the dining room. No. What about your sister's room? It's not here either. The upstairs closet? The downstairs closet. There are no more closets. <laughs> Moms everywhere are finding ways to keep kids active and healthy. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. G morning, sunshine. Wakey, wakey. Text me. Are your parents home later? We can hang. L-U-V, love you. J-K. Holla back. Holla back. Holla back. Are you with your friends? That's lame. We're in a huge fight right now. X-O. Would you dream of something I did? Are you on your way to the home? Homely. Nude pics. Send me some. Text me. Today I'm going to talk about Patty. Patty's best characteristics? She's stupid. Stupid and ugly. Everything she does is ugly. Watch her eat. Watch her stuff her face. Look at her. Greasy hair, dirty fingernails. It makes me want to vomit. Get a life, Patty. Thank you. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Whoa! Hey, it's Crazy Mark here. I'm on the set of Weekly Entertainment. And I'm over here with Rudy Meister. 
Yo, Rudy Meister, what up? Mark, welcome back for another exciting week of, What's, yeah. Weekly Entertainment. Yeah, yeah Weekly right Entertainment. Back. But dude, can you, you know it's been almost like two years since this show began? It's been just like absolutely, well, let's check out some of the uh, rolls and clips and baffles and bloopers and stuff coming up. What do yeah, you think, let's dude? let's do that. Um, you know, you know. I just want to say this. This has been the greatest two years I think ever. You know, just working with Mark here and uh, and all the entire staff, Ian Smith, everyone. This has just been just a great, uh, just a great pleasure, and uh, it's it's been great. Yeah, it's been wild and wacky, crazy yes. and true. I think it's been a, a really cool trip and whatnot, and I think it's been a cool trip for you all out there too. And you know, to get in contact with us over there, at Weekly Entertainment, the Facebook page, and all that other good stuff. But in the meantime. You just park your arse right there and check out the blooper reel that's going to run. Whoa. Let's roll that footage. Yeah, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Come on. Yeah, roll it, roll it. Weekly entertainment. Weekly entertainment. Weekly entertainment. Weekly entertainment. Raise the roof. Weekly entertainment. Weekly entertainment. Hey, how long does this song go on? Is it like I think we're 40 seconds over. We are. We're way over. This ain't even going to make it there. Yeah, baby. Get a Joe Link going up for you. Give me a drive through hamburger. Thank you very much. Uh, cheeseburger, baby. Big, double, triple, big milkshake. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I had that. Yo, that was yo. Uh, Weekly Entertainment is the place to be. We're yeah. rocking and rolling in history. Yeah. We are. Yeah. All right. Can it be seen? Do I have to? Yeah, there we go, like this. You, can you see the face behind? Yeah. Hey, this is Crazy Mark. And when I'm not chasing Bigfoot or uh, women, I'm over here with Weekly Entertainment. Pacha! I'm just completely in the dark. Yeah, he's completely in the dark, though. Do you see that? Let me see if I have one right Wait, the farther I move back. My name, that's my title. Oh, your title. Yes. Okay, you're the... I'm Head Dumas. Head Dumas. Mr. Michael. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, uh, thank you, Roger, for uh, all the technical help here. They they do a really good job here. Yeah, it's that's interesting. Well, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, they stole your hand. Hey, where did it it's go? It's aliens again. Wow, it is. It is. That's the uh, alien conspiracy. Dream a little dream of me. <laughs> ba 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 <laughs> I know it hurt. It like sucks to laugh because you know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've, yeah. We're both recovering from uh, seasonal allergies here. Uh, like next thing, I think I, I just want to do something fun and have it be all Xander. Maybe all Xander musical numbers. Now you should. Uh, you gotta watch yourself getting into this shot. It's tight on the. Okay, yeah, my arm's already cut up, so I... Okay, so when I see the number one light up, I pretty much have to stay perfectly still. Well, one's, one's good, but when four's on, you're going to come in the edge of the picture with your hand... Okay, okay. Motion, so, if you got to grab something... <laughs> okay. <laughs> do that. I talk with my hands, though. I, uh... I know, that's why I'm telling you to grab something. <laughs> That's why when I had the desk, I used to play with the, the all the papers. Yeah. You still would really play large, but it'd be hard to get a shot on him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's taller than I remember. Yeah. Is it okay if I get up? Yes, it is now.
<laughs> Sandra the Conqueror, ladies and gentlemen. I took over Xander, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Z- Z- you, you are watching. I have Xander in my possession. Here they are. Uh, I don't know, but how are you doing? I'm doing really good. Like, see, I don't even know how they could do ventriloquist because it's too freaking obvious. Like, how do they it do is, it? I, I, I've tried it. It's, it's, it's really hard. Yeah. It's like incredibly yeah. difficult. Yeah, it is. Like, they'd be sitting there and they'd be like, so how are you doing? Or I think they do it like I think they do it like this. Like, when they're talking, they're they going. Don't, they don't like, they don't? They don't? Oh really? Hmm. Oh really? You know, so how are you doing, everybody? Really you really have to move down your feet. Hey, how are you doing? Doing really good. Oh, I don't, no, see, that didn't yeah, work. Like muffled. <laughs> but you're like, eh, eh. That's because I'm talking with my teeth, but I'm moving my mouth too. Like the whole point of doing ventriloquism is you're not moving your mouth as much. So, hi. Hey, I can do it. I used to do this without puppets, though. That's how I knew oh, I was yeah. a special child growing up. <laughs> I did that I without knew, puppets. Yes, I used to just, you know, you know. How you doing? Fine. And and you are? I am the pink Zander. <laughs> <laughs> staying alive, staying alive. Ah, 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 staying alive. Damn, we need to hire him. Like, <laughs> move over Andy Gibbs. <laughs> Because I was raised in the seventies, I still listen to disco music. I was raised in the seventies. I was like uh, wearing the butterfly collars and the. <laughs> I don't know about the platform pants or the what was the shoes they had with the fishes in them. Oh fish, yeah, yeah. Fish tank pumps. <laughs> that was the guy with the shirt said disco stuff. Whoa, we're back here with the weekly entertainment on the set. We're messing around with our iPads. We're all technologically advanced. I'm a technologically advanced. <laughs> Bozo Caveman, and we got a technologically advanced Rudolph Michelle yes, right you know, here. I didn't even know we were back. I was too busy playing with my tablet. Oh, you're just getting lost into your, you know, uh, which I think happens world. to a lot of people. You know, that, that's Ooh. how car accidents happen. Yeah, so, folks, just a quick, you know, public service announcement: don't don't play with yourself while you're driving. Selfies, selfies, Am I right? selfies. Yeah, I'm gonna Look take at me him. a selfie. He's taking a selfie. I'm take me a selfie. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, well, what? What, what what instead of you know enough for this uh, gaiety. Uh, what? 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 Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I see rainbows here, folks. We're going to get a lot of people calling up, going, "Hey, you're making what uh, kind of show is about, this?" You know, especially bringing back that marriage thing in Michigan, and everybody's going to get all huffy puffy, you know, and then they're going to prance out on your front porch, and you know, they're going to have, you know, they're going to burn stuff that had, oh. you know, and of course they're going to throw pink uh, sparks in there to. Get, but anyway, Sandra might appreciate that. Well. Um, Comic Cons. Comic Cons. What's yes. going on with Comic Cons there, Rudolph? Motor City Comic Con is coming up. Unless you people have already seen this in rerun, then it's already been passed. But we have some. We're appearing at quite a few of them this summer, aren't we? Yeah, you got to come on out. Bring the family. Bring the dog. Bring the cat. You know, get pictures with us. Get involved with the party. Get crazy. You know, we're gonna be there. So you never know. Come on out for the show and get involved with cosplay, dude. There's yeah, lots of cosplay, cosplay going on. Of course, you know, you always partake in the, the cosplay festivities. Well, you know what? Look at this. Well, dude, let me tell you facts here. You know, I go to do the cosplay thing, and I just do it just in case I do win, you know, over some other guy who's like some adult who goes out to the store, the professional costume shop, and buys all these yeah. things, you know, to be like steampunk yeah, or something like that. Look at this. Yeah, handmade. yeah, you know. Cosplays for the kids. You know, if I win, I'm going to turn around and give my award to a kid, you know? Isn't the kids nice? who've worked. You know, Look at that. They've, they work. Cosplays for the kids. They go out, they work on their own costumes, they rock and roll with it. Rudolph, man, they do some cool stuff. They do. And, you know, comic book conventions are, it's not just comic books, folks. It's all kinds of great, fun stuff going on. There's toys, collectibles, you know, you get to meet people. It's, it's just, it's just, it's like a circus. So just, if you see us at an event, come check us out. Stop us. You might, uh, you, you know, we might just have some swag for you. Well, uh, what, what do we have to go over now? I think uh, we're running over, and we've got something else coming down Commercials. Here. We'll yes. be back after these important messages from who knows who. You never know. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Weekly Entertainment. Today we're going to talk about Patty. Patty's best characteristics? She's stupid. Stupid and ugly. Everything she does is ugly. Watch her eat. Watch her stuff her face. Look at her. Greasy hair, dirty fingernails. It makes me want to vomit. Get a life, Patty. Thank you.
be free. Nice, Dad. Nice, Dad. Nice. Chop! Nice, Dad. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of siblings in foster care who'll take you just as you are. Thank you. You believe this guy? Wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. How you doing? My name's Steve. My family's lived in this neighborhood for years. Recently, things got so tight, we had to go to our local food bank for help. I lost a lot of sleep worrying about what the neighbors might think. That is until I saw them there, too. How'd I do, Steve? A little stiff. You could have done a little What? Better. Come on! You know, I have an Academy Award. Not for playing me. Play your role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. Yeah, you keep playing those drums there, Rudolph, because now we're about ready to get into some movie reviews. All right, this yeah. is always my favorite part of the show. What do we have today? Well, I'll tell you what. You opened up, I guess Sparkles was laying down the lowdown. Yes, he was. About Noah He's and how that. real that movie is. I mean, it's How just, can you say that, though, Mark? There's no, there was nothing real about the movie. If it's made by Hollywood, it's got to be real. I mean, oh. it just totally blows all the conspiracy theory out of the water, you know? I mean, it, you know, we try to figure out who built the pyramids, okay? That's true, okay. Try to figure out who, uh, like, made those great big things that, you know, the big heads on Easter Island. Sure. You know, sure. those giant heads. I mean, I know that as, as Crazy Mark, Bozo Jungle Caveman, I could go over there and pick one up out of the ground and, and like, take it back home. But, you know, it takes more than a mortal to do something like that. That's true. That's true. You need something with great power, which a lot of conspiracy, conspiracy theories say that, uh, you know, UFOs came down and, you know, they used particle beams to pick up, pick up these structures and place them here and there but the movie noah t paints a slightly different picture yeah well i was expecting ufos to pop out of the sky and you know Might bring well have. yeah bring come bring uh, the, the noah family wonderful gifts and everything like that but no they had well they had giants and, and the monsters helped them out with the ark it was it was uh well it was so true looking. It was so realistic. I, I couldn't believe it myself. And which was kind of interesting because they, they do mention giants in the Bible. The, uh, yes. the what is it, Nephilim? Yeah. And I they, believe that was the story of the giants. The five fo fum dude. Well, I don't, I don't know if it went that far, but... Well, they said in the Bible there, to, to the giant, a man was like a grasshopper. I mean, if you had a grasshopper in your hand, proportionately, wouldn't that make one big tag team partner? True, but since, you know, so I, you know I went to a Catholic school and I, I did all that, but they never ever mentioned once giants helping okay, Noah build okay. the ark. Okay, we'll, you know, put, that, we'll all... put that to rest. Okay. The Pope did it. The Pope came I, down and built the ark. I think that's the biggest problem a lot of people have with this Noah's, Noah's Ark movie is that these giant rock creatures. I mean, why is it, is it was it a matter of Hollywood... Uh, make turning it into a Hollywood spectacle, or I, I don't I, know. They, maybe they wanted to get more viewers. They could have. They did that already with Russell Crowe because he was out right, there fighting around right. the world as he usually does. You know, he had his big boat tuggers. Everything was rocking and rolling. That's all they needed. Rocking Russell, and rolling. There yeah, you go. that's all they needed was <laughs> Russell Crowe on there. He could have done it himself because he's such a big star. He'd fight the rock creature. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, that would have been interesting. He could have come out and said, uh, "Take out his sword and said." By the power of Grey Skull, <laughs> and then fought the rock monsters, you know, and that would have been even cooler. Although this, the story of judgment and redemption was very uh, was very interesting, um, but although one, you know, one of my favorite movies of all time that involved a man with a giant ship uh, on a search for God, um, uh. that would have to be Star Trek V. Oh, we could talk about Battle that Frontier. more yeah. here soon because I think we're gonna roll the review flick. The, the footage come oh. up here in a minute here. Okay. Yes, as a matter of so fact, let's beam that up. There it is, beam it up. No one, no one. God, no one. no one. Yes, my lord. Build a build giant, giant boat. boat. Yes, my lord. Who will help me build the ark? Rock monster. Rock monster. All right. Well, 
Oh, that was amazing, wasn't it? That pretty much sums it all up in a nutshell. Well, it? no, it doesn't. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go do something. You keep these people entertained here. Okay, I here. think we have a surprise, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we have a surprise. I'm going to do something here, and I'm warning the sound booth right off the bat. Uh-oh. Yeah, I got to well, warn he's, he's undressing, ladies yep. and gentlemen. He's, he's undressing. Look at this. Look at this. From Toy Fair. From the New York Toy Fair. The official Noah's Ark toy. This is going to be in stores for Christmas. Look at this. Look at this. It's fully... Look at this. Here. Just in time for Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to win this... You got, we're actually giving this away, aren't we? Oh. Noah's Ark. We're giving away Noah's Ark, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we'll figure out. We're going to have something up on the website, but you can take this home with you. So drop us an email, and we'll post some details. But win Noah's Ark this week. That is amazing right there. Look, Look at that. The it slices. It dices. It juliennes. You know, what? I think back when I was at my jungle caveman lair, it was just something that one of my friends, one of the, the gorillas did. Look, and this scene was made by a gorilla. Yeah, they're advanced, believe it or not, especially the ones from Gorilla City. <laughs> High technology there. <laughs> so, ladies hey, and gentlemen, if you want to win Noah's Ark, send us any kit. Look at this. Look, look at the workmanship yes, on this. Yes, you can win this boat, and it says even here, Van Halen song Van Halen. on the side. <laughs> Look, it, it says Van Halen. Wait, do you have anything with David Lee Roth on there? I, unfortunately, you don't? I I'll don't. be right back. I'm sure we can put David Lee Roth <laughs> okay. on here. He's going to go look for David tell, Lee Roth. Tell them about but the what, what, are, what are the stipulations for the contest? Uh, right now, the stipulations are the things you're going to tell them because okay. I'm going to go find the cool characters that there's go some with characters, this. There's, some, look, look there's more, this. ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this is okay. turning into... Sound a, booth, watch out. Here we go again. There we go. This is turning into Home Shopping Network, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Noah's Command... Uh, <laughs> command off-road vehicle. Can we see that, Mark? Oh, yeah, right there. Right That's there. so Noah can, uh, look at that, Noah's command vehicle. Uh, you can go. put the figures in there. But I, what, what oh, this, this oh, is hey, cool. This is the coolest. This is from Toy Fair, New York. Look, you can fill your ark. Oh, with the animals. Look at this. We got animals. We got the animals that go in here. And, uh, you can fill, put the ark, put the animals in the ark. But here's the greatest, the piece de resistance. Oh, oh yes. Wait. The rock man. Can we get this on? Look at this. The rock monster. See, look, he can build the ark. And we're not including the rock man because this is too cool. I'm keeping this. Oh, that's, yeah, we're that's keeping this. amazing here. Um, okay, so we have the rock monster. Oh, there's also Tales of Great Ulysses. Aha. Uh -huh. We got Ulysses, and they Giant. can all fit in the truck. Well, you know, while they're talking about that, we're, See, we're talking about... That's, uh, that's all the time we have for this segment. But, yeah, we got something legendary here. Legendary superhero on this next video. So, stay right there. Win the arc, ladies and gentlemen. And watch this superhero. All right, the song is about man's inner struggle to understand himself. I'm just kidding. Song about a beer. <laughs> Are we back? Oh, we're back. We're back. Hey. Already. That was a cool video. Yeah, that's by the Fat Hacks, you know. Fat Hacks is a cool band out of Port Huron, you know. And the cool thing about Port Huron and Marysville, hey, our sponsors from up there because that's Ooh, where we're going these days. Let's welcome them. Oh, yeah. Welcome aboard. All right. Oh, great. And mighty sponsorship. Thank you very much. I got. If you want to win Noah's Ark, send us an email. Care of the station, and what is the name of the lead singer of the Fat Hacks? What, what does he call himself? The lead Just singer. Tell us that. Yes, yes. Oh, well, we'll tell you. Uh, actually, the lead singer. It's on singer. his belt. It says yeah. it on his belt. It says so on his belt. Yes, yes it does. You know, that's so watch it. and win, ladies and gentlemen. We'll tell send you Noah's the, Ark. The lead singer of the Fat Hacks. Yeah. So yeah, we're going up there into Port Huron. Port Huron is a great place. We got the Raven Coffee Shop, which is like. Renaissance Festival all year long. Oh, that was that. That's all like, year actually long sounds like a lot place. of fun. Yeah, it's cool. I love the place. You know, uh, Blue Water Bridge. If you haven't been up there during the winter time when the ice freezes, the ice 
turns blue. That's very cool, ladies and gentlemen. Very cool. Yeah. Also, two up there, and this is for all you monster hunters, right up where Lake Huron and the Detroit River kind of meet is where there's rumored to be 30 foot long sturgeon fish. Wow. Good monster good fish. Yeah, monster fish. It's good eating. You could, well, nah, you, you don't, know. don't necessarily want to eat it. And, nah, they're bottom okay. feeders. And of course, I got a couple shout outs. Shout, shout out. out, let's see. We'd like to say a big weekly thank you. Uh, I'd like to say hi to Linda Gardner out there watching in Flat Rock, Michigan. We're now on in Flat Rock. And uh, of course, uh, Marianne, Charles, and the rest of the crew, Samantha, all at uh, the uh, Gibraltar Road Kroger over there in uh, Brownstown. Rock and so roll. Big, uh, big rock and weekly entertainment. Hello to all them. And uh, great, it's a great place to shop. You want to go check that out. And uh, do you have anyone, Mark? Yeah, I'll tell you what. All those cool peeps like Lemon James. Oh, yeah. You know, we, I, the I, show. And wait, and I see, I also see out there, I see Linda, I see Herb watching this over here. And Taylor talking, you know. David Crystal Ball. Yeah, Still. well, yeah, I just kind of see this, you know. It's just the jungle caveman Wavy thing. Wavy gravy. Wavy gravy, dude. And I see them over there, and Taylor, no disrespect calling it Taylor Tucky, but, you know, it's good down-home kind of stuff going on there. Yeah. Been there. We love it. Love the shops. Love the peeps. It's a good thing. Woodhaven, Gibraltar, Garden City. Oh, yeah. You know what? So, in the meantime... Thanks I'm Tracy Martin. I'm Rudolph Michelle. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you all later here. Good night. Weekly Entertainment. Ciao for now.